post. I mean, AJ, Shante, uh, Sarah, even even when Sharon didn't score, but I mean, they, they did some better things, did they not? Yeah, they did. You know what? That's the one thing I've really got to continue to talk to our team about. We've got to continue to go inside out. Our guards are definitely, you know, the, the big part of our scoring. But you just can't rely on passing the ball around, uh, around the perimeter and not going inside to give your post a touch. So when we did that, I thought we had we had some success. And we've got to continue to work on that going inside out. It's not that our posts are going to take 20 shots a game. But we've got to get them at least 15 to 20 touches combined and not all of that being off of all offensive boards. Because I thought a a a a Agent Taylor did a great job on the offensive last night. Like Sarah, take uh, Sarah Hamm had a good game off the bench too. Yes, yeah, she did. You know what? That's one thing I'm really trying trying to get Sarah to just to, to get a, a little more fighting. You know, and she she's got to get more uh, uh, aggressive force. She's the one that gets a lot of mismatches now, where a guard's defending her in the post, and I've got to get her to bury that guard like Peters does. And instead of trying to always finish over somebody, where she can just turn and shoot a layup. But it's, it's a lot of repetition, it's a lot of practice. It's a big change going from a high school setting where you're just as big as the strongest player to now all of a sudden, you really gotta do all your work before you get the ball. And you know, I'm really excited for her because I've seen a lot of growth from her, a lot of progress, and we just need to c c continue that in, in order for our team to succeed. Two more games, just thought on where you're at. Look, going into the last, you know, we, I mean, Two more games before the conference tournament. All I know is we play on Saturday. I, I'm not even worried about this, the, the next one, but it's uh, it's amazing to me how fast a year goes by. Uh, you know, we started off the year with uh, aspirations of going to a Final Four, and you know those are still our goals. But when you lose Tia Gibbs and then Mo Monique, we've lost a big punch of our scoring. So we're just trying to find some people to step up and just try to take over that role. And I'm not expecting someone to step up and put in a, fi a 15 a night and replace Monique, but we need three or four of them to give us six or seven a night. And then we can make up for that. And we, we, we just really miss Tia's leadership. You know, she handles the ball well, she can shoot to three, she defends well. And you know, I'm challenging Bria to be able to do that. And that's a lot to ask for for a freshman. Is there any extra motivation because of the DePaul game and the last DePaul game? Well, if there's not, I'm not sure what we are thinking. I mean, we just got our kicked. <laughs> so, no, I'm not allowed to say that word. But I did it the other day. I wasn't supposed to. But, I mean, we, we got there. So if you can't come out, you know, we'll take tomorrow off because we, have, we have, have to take a day off, unfortunately. Um, then we'll practice on Wednesday and get after it. If you can't be excited to come out and play the ball after what they did to us up there, then we've got the long players. Uh, I know that they're they're going to be excited. I know that we're going to come out here and uh, you know it's a senior night for Becky Burt that's had a great career. Uh, you know, and, and I'm looking forward to sending her out on uh, on a good note.